Hey guys, gonna do an unboxing of the Small HD Ultra 7 and then do a quick comparison to the uh, Ultra Bright 7 inch, just kind of the predecessor to the Ultra 7. So, let's see. Actually, just broke the seal and I thought I should do an unboxing. So, yeah, got all that. And there we are. Now this is one of like the first new new monitors I get. I get a lot of B stock, and this one just happened to be on sale, and it was about the price of what the B stock ones are going for. So too good not to pass up. Uh, also, this is kind of nice. Um, looks like a power limo to D tap is included. And what is this? Uh, these look like covers. Oh yeah, yeah these are covers. Oh, I see. Let's try to take this out. All right, so here's the Ultra 7. A nice little button layout. They feel really nice. Joystick's great. So this is kind of nice. Um, immediately, I just noticed that all of these cover or all of these uh, ports have cap cap covers. Uh, this is actually very nice, especially because a lot of places we film are like outside. They get dusty. Uh, I mean, immediately just holding this thing, the build quality screams $3,000 monitor. Uh, it's actually pretty nice that these are removable. So, you know, if threads get stripped out or just worn down, you can replace them. I like this little cheese on the top here. And the corners are like a rubberized. So that's actually pretty nice. So hopefully, you know, you won't ever have to drop it, but just a little tap. It feels pretty good. So if you have this mounted to your camera, you know, and you're like going through a doorway or something and you bump it, it gives you a little bit of a buffer. Um, I'm not sure about this lock and unlock. I have to explore that a little bit. There's a SD card slot, which they include SD card and lens wipe, which I've actually never used any of these that I've ever come with my other monitors. And what's this guy here? Oh yeah, these are all the... So this is nice because all these caps, covers, have additional cap covers in here. So these always get lost. Uh, if you have, you know, batteries, you know they'll go missing. So let's just do a quick little comparison. This is the, the Ultra Bright right here. And then the Ultra 7. So you can see there are... Actually... This is a little bit smaller, like dimensionally, even without, even without these like ribs on the side, you can see they're pretty much lined up. You can see how much wider the ultra bright monitor is. And I mean, it's, it's extremely wider if you can include all this. So as you know, if you have this monitor, you, there, there's like a one mounting screw, I believe, on the side, or there's, no, no, there's none on this one. On the Ultra Bright 5, there's one on the side. So if you want to mount anything to the side of this monitor or mount this, the monitor on its side, you need this rail brace. Um, pretty much all of these monitors that you'll find used, they all have this brace on it. Um, mine, I have the gold mount. Uh, this one, they didn't have the gold mount wooden camera bracket in stock at B&H, um, but I ordered one from Wooden Camera, so it should be in, I guess, today. And then also, another big thing I wanted this for was controlling Airy cameras. Um, I think they make it for RED and Sony, uh, specifically the Venice. But yeah, this is, I, I'll do another review, I guess, of whenever I get the software. Um, but it'll be so nice to actually have a touchscreen interface. So this is touchscreen much like the Ultra 5 is. Uh, the Ultra Bright, this is not touchscreen, um, but it's, you know, it's super robust. I have to say, just holding the two, this is not any lighter than this one. Actually, if anything, it's heavier. I have to weigh him a little bit here. I can weigh him. Hold on. A little coffee scale. All right, so this is the ultra bright with the gold mount bracket on the back. Looks like 955 grams. And then here is, now this is without the bracket on the back, so it'll add a little bit to it. So, okay, 920. So they'll probably be around the same weight, but this actually, I don't know why it feels heavier to me, but 
it will be lighter all in all because of course now you have mounting points that are on it and I don't need to get uh, these like metal ribs and stuff on the side there. So it's nice. It'll be a little smaller all around, a little bit lighter all around. Just for comparison's sake, I have another monitor here. This is the seven inch touch. Uh, a little bit older of a monitor now, but it is touchscreen, which is nice. So here is uh, both of these touchscreens. And before, like I said, this was, this was the, you know, if you want like, Pro level, and then also pro level, but like maybe not as accurate colors, not as bright. Uh, this one I would not, it's daylight viewable, but like, I wouldn't say direct sun. So I had this on my Steadicam for like a few years and it, it was like, if the sun was like directly overhead, it was useless. Um, I'd always have to put like, you know, something up to block it or have somebody uh, give me a courtesy flag overhead. And this one is very daylight viewable and looks great. I believe this one's also probably very daylight viewable. But I'm just kind of blown away here by how small they've gotten this. It's pretty, pretty close, not bad. It's basically the same size, but you have buttons on the side now, which is nice. So it will be nice, because um, much like this, you know, you can just power your monitor just with like a little gold mount or a V-mount. So this uh, has a micro mount, and I think it mounts vertically like this. I'll have to double check on the website, but I think that's what it is. So here, Looks like a standard two pin limo, nothing special about these. Uh, I believe like same, same cables your Teradek uses. Uh, yeah, so shouldn't be any surprises there. Not like a Komodo um, with backward polarization. Okay, so here is, the only bummer about these plugs is that they cover up, they cover up the words. <laughs> so once you use it a few times, I'm sure, you know, you'll get a hang of it. Uh, but this is uh, this is nice actually. This is a pass through, so it's double two pin limo pass through. So yeah, this one goes in here. And if I fry this, it'll give me a really interesting title for this video. All right, standard. Okay, firing up here. Let's see. Okay, so I have to set it up. I'm curious, it seems about like the same boot time. I'm really curious, let's try it out. So three, two, one. Okay, about the same boot time. This one was like milliseconds faster, but I guess it doesn't really matter too much. All right, um, the joystick feels great. Here's the comparison here. Um, joystick stick on here is like a little square guy. This one's got like a little beveled edge, which is pretty nice. Um, let's see, I'm going to skip this. Um, oh, that's right. There you go. So it looks like pretty much the same kind of page set up here. Um, the like tactics of the, of the button feel pretty good. This one has like, this one feels like just a tiny microscopic wiggle to it that I don't love, but it still feels like it's not gonna pop out. Like if you remember the first like seven inch small HD monitors, the button would pop out of every single one after a long enough time. Uh, don't have that worry with this one, but it doesn't, it doesn't feel kind of like as, as firm as that one. That one feels like a button should feel. Uh, this is kind of nice. I've never loved kind of like mashing I've never loved mashing down into these buttons. It's okay. Um, these feel cool. Like <laughs> you want you want to push these buttons. Uh, I like I like the layout of them. All right, one quick side note here. Just kind of clicking around after I turn the camera off, and like this one has always felt like it just had like a a millisecond of a delay to it. You know, totally fine. Feel like all the monitors do this. This one is like super responsive. The Ultra Seven. I mean, that, that's pretty, it feels, it feels nice just clicking around. Like, I feel like I'm not waiting that millisecond where this one has always been like a little bit of a, you know, not a slog, but yeah. Anyway, this one feels pretty good. Um, yeah, I think 
immediately uh, I think it might be worth the upgrade especially if you can get it on sale and after I use it I can confirm that but yeah I'd give it a go so one more thing to note is on the ultra bright 7 inch of course all your ports are located on the side which I guess is kind of nice because it can protect your plugs but I mount this on Steadicam all the time so it actually sits in like a yoke which holds it more like that so I'm always like trying to get around the side of the yoke and it, it kind of like uncomfortably pushes some of the pins down a little bit if it's at a like, like not the perfect angle so I didn't I never loved that um, but I do like how these now like pretty much all the other small HD monitors they are coming down because typically you know 90% of the time you'll have your arm down here so it's just nice if like the rest of the cables are like coming down beside the arm um, this one also has an Ethernet port for the area control and this guy what is that see again like if you want to see things like it's kind of like eh, under there so kind of a bummer about these I guess I guess they can be removed yeah I can just remove them but I don't know it's nice to have that protection on there too so I was just putting everything away and then totally realized I forgot to open this pack which has some stickers the cleaning cloth and then a screen protector so that's actually pretty nice so if you're thinking about ordering this monitor, if you get it new at least, just know that it comes with a screen protector already. Um, so you don't really need to order one on the website.